Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching uh, my lifestyle channel, hi, welcome back to Rebecca's lifestyle. Hi, I hope everybody's um, okay. Um, the weather in the UK, um, it was cloudy and windy today. Um, but um, as far as I know, in northwest Leicestershire, where I am, it was dry, which is uh, good. Um, hi, if you're new to my channel, uh, please subscribe and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so. And thank you to all my latest subscribers that um, have just recently subscribed. I really appreciate it and thank you for supporting my channel. Today I'm going to be doing Budget Travel News uh, 10 Exciting Facts January 2023 Part 1 and this is called, uh, according to um, housebeautiful.com So I'm going to kick off and fire away with uh, number 1 and um, it proves that you don't have to compromise on style uh, when uh, sticking to a budget you can just uh, save money by uh, being more uh, tech, tech focused and by booking tech, tech focused holidays say like um, on apps and internets etc and um, at number two you can save money uh, by B leisure trips um, which is basically a blend of work and travel and um, I do that when I uh, go on my holidays um, and I'll be doing that when I go to um, Isle of Wight and um, this year and um, also Western Supermare so I'll be um, filming all around there at those places and um, the week after my holiday I'll be uploading them and that's so um, you can save money by uh, doing B leisure trips which blend, uh, blend work and, and travel um, number three, Expedia Travel Group, uh, which Expedia, Hotels.com and Verbo under its umbrella has uh, duped uh, three-star accommodation, a top travel trend for 2023 admit the cost of living crisis. What does that mean? It, it's essentially spending less on where you stay with comp with um, compromising on without compromising on the cool factor or comfort and um, whether that's uh, checking in purse friendly, uh, purse friendly but chick boutique hotel or opting for a design led a part hotel um, and that is more affordable than it actually looks and uh, you will also have space to do your cooking too and when I was in uh, Minorca I stayed in a, an apart hotel and it um, and it was around at three star ish and um, it, it, it was really nice and re really good and um, because you can do bits of cooking yourself and if you're obviously p uh, paying for the hotel part then you can um, go in for breakfast in the hotel and or dinner in the hotel depending on your board basis but you can let's say cook lunch yourself um, if you're doing half board um, and number four and um, has um, so, uh, some of the stylish 
three-star hotels do not mean giving all, all your favourite luxuries for about by downgrading from a four or five star luxury hotel in fact it is a smarter way to see the world as the, the cost of living goes up so and again it's same for, uh, from apartments you can save money by downgrading to uh, say from a four star apartment to a three star apartment and um number five hotels.com data uh, for, uh, for fund uh, that um interest is up more than 20 percent globally in three star and under hotels 39 percent of uk travelers again a, cut, a, a percent uh, want to 39 percent um, want to, to stay in one to three star hotels um, obviously because it's a lot cheaper than sp it's spending out for a four or five star hotel and you're still getting comfort and uh, some luxuries obviously not as much as a, a four or five star hotel but you st uh, you're still getting a comfortable hotel and uh, number seven 27 percent of all uk travelers want to book a stay with added value inclusions uh, such as toiletries and a free breakfast. I mean, I must admit, I, um, um, I stay in three-star hotel, hotels and I'm always impressed when they do have toiletries or um, a free, a free be a breakfast or breakfasts, etc. Um, because it just adds to the comfort of you say and obviously you're not spending out for toiletries as so much on toiletries and um bre or breakfast i mean one co uh, that comes with both is definitely a real bonus um free toiletries uh, you can also pack light and also um, free breakfast you can also pack lighter so you're not ha either having to do it yourself or go looking um, around for somewhere to have breakfast etc or brunch and uh, number eight uh, cooking in a, a holiday home instead of eating out or getting a takeaway can save you money as well so if you do your own cooking in a an apartment studio bungalow holiday at home then again you can save money in, in, instead of going to a restaurant cafe or just eating out in uh, general or or ordering takeaways number nine sixty percent of the UK travelers look for uh, rental with family and friends say that they would uh, they like well equipped uh, properties with great facilities much, much basically match a much more or at least the same as the destination itself because again if your accommodation has great uh, facilities then again there's more uh, more that you can do in the accommodation that, that, that you stay in um uh, last but not least uh, these are the best uh, three star stay hotels um that won't cost a fortune according to web Wild Sign and Honey 
in the Cotswolds UK. The Coral de Ray, Seville. Mama Shelter at Paris, that's West Paris. Hotel Claude Marbella at Marbella, Spain. And the Verb Hotel Boston, Massachusetts. I Hotel oh sorry ice hotel in sweden wow that sounds really exciting but all these look absolutely fantastic the pictures um i love tokyo Ganinis, tokyo excuse my pronunciation mars hotel hobart and hotel man no, Morgan, Quebec, that's Canada, Una Bida, Tulum, Tulum, excuse my pronunciation, anyway, um, so those are three, or oh, a fantastic three, uh, three star hotels or boutique hotels that won't cost you a fortune to stay in and are highly regarded according to the website so i would like to say thank you for watching and um, again let me know in the comments if you stayed in one of them i'd be interested to know and see your experience uh, but if not uh, thank you for watching i hope you enjoy and um, have a nice night thank you and i'll see you tomorrow for another video um of Rebecca's Travels and Rebecca's Lifestyle. This is going to be Luxury Travel Special. So bye for now. Thank you. Bye.